In the time of our masters, we were made. Our purpose, to weed the gardens of our masters and tend to their lands. This is the purpose we take great pleasure in. This is the purpose that we have held true to unlike our croaking cousins. During the War of Immortality, our masters entrusted us to create that with which they fought. Weapons and armor fashioned out of the teeth, claws, and scales of the great Nagas. Our masters entrusted us with the great temples with which they grew their numbers and powers. And like gardeners, when the fanged eared fey weeds decided to grow in our masters' lands, we plucked them. Plucked them without remorse. Even after our masters lost their war, like their Naga masters, we did not turn our backs on the promises we made. For that, the masters have named us their eternal keepers, and thus have given us their dominion as our eternal home. Now, those slimy frogmen have gotten ideas above their purpose. Now, those cowardly toads cling to the lands of our masters, rotting it with their neglect like mold on a tree. As the eternal keepers of our master's lands, it is our duty to cut away their infectious presence and clear a path for the master's regrowth. We, the eternal keepers, shall answer their tuneless croaks of war with our hard scales and we shall tame the humans alongside every creature against them. They will know what it means to go against the keepers of the master's lands. They will know what it means to go to war. They will know our war. Our war of crooks and scales.